Nobody likes us. Yo! Check us out! Weird science. Brought life into the world. You know, it's not a bad idea. Making a girl. Just like Frankenstein. Except cuter. Should we give her a brain? Yeah, we can play chess with her. Wait, why are we wearing bras on our heads? Ceremonial. She's alive! Alive! Uh. So, what would you little maniacs like to do first? You guys had better loosen up. Lisa? I don't think we belong here. Very good. Well, that's very sweet thought of both of you. Really don't do it. See you guys in the emergency room, huh? What's a beautiful bride like you doing with a malacca like this, huh? It's purely sexual. She's into malacca's, Dino. <laughs> Let me tell you my story, man. I was insane for this crazy little eighth grade bitch. Okay? Crazy insane? I called every night for like a month. Every damn night? On the telephone? This boy talking about on the telephone, man. Explain it what to you. She need you in the nuts. In the family jewels. Oh, Worst oh, pain there is. Broke my heart in two. You broke more than your heart. Oh, you better think of what you're going to do about Chet. You stood, butt wide. How about a nice, greasy pork sandwich served in a dirty ashtray? Look at his haircut. Anybody with a haircut like that, you know he's an asshole. Good morning, turd brain. You like your panties. I mean, the next thing you know, you'll be wearing a bra on your head. Something in leather or rubber or barbed wire. Give me a break. For the first time in my life, I don't feel like a total dick. Hi. <laughs> right. I saw you in the escalator. <laughs> Come on, hon, we're running late. There's a party tonight at Wyatt's house. Party? I'm gonna go and pick up Gary. I can't wait to meet his parents. So what do you do for a living, Al? My dad's a plumber. He's into plumbing and any, any, well, I guess you plumb, right, Dad? Uh, I've whipped up this nasty little soiree over at his friend Wyatt's house. Party. Chips, dips, chains, whips. I'm not talking candle wax on the nipples or... You get the hell out of here before I throw you out. Don't fret me, Al! You're out of shape. I'll kick your ass. But your son's only sexual outlet is tossing off to magazines in the bathroom. Oh, Gary! Ah, I oh, never God. told anything! You told me you were combing your hair! I I was. Was. Shut up! Dial the damn police and give me the phone. <laughs> Go ahead. Make your day. Trust me for once, will you? They don't know what happened. Did you think Gary was acting a little strangely this evening? Gary? Who's Gary? Scotch. Straight up? Yeah, give me the whole bottle. Tell you what, you bend over. Now shove it straight up your ass. On the rocks is fine. Ladies. Hi. Light a match or something. We're sorry, we thought there were just girls in there. Gary was just taking a shit. <laughs> Would you mind if I came in and checked my face? What's wrong with your face? Can you guys keep a secret? Sure. No! <laughs> You forgot one small detail. We forgot to hook up the doll. A missile in my house, Gary! I have a feeling we're not going to approve, Henry. They created me on their computer. I'm not going to stand here and listen to this baloney. He doesn't stand for baloney. You're going to love this one. It's pretty sick, Lisa. No. Ah! <laughs> Why don't you shut up, bitch? And as for your ugly ass, you don't come into my friend's house, driving your motorbikes all over his floors. It's, and believe me, you do stink. <laughs> Get out of here. You have a lovely home. Can we keep this between us? I'd hate to lose my teaching job. You and me, we saved all these people, wide. That's my boys. This isn't bullshit. This is a Pershing missile chip. My name is Chet. And I didn't think it was a whale's dick, honey. Hi, Nanny. Hi, Grampy. 
I'm not a moron, you know. I can be a real serious bitch. Hit me with your best shot. You stupid bitch! Hi, dudes. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to go. So what did you guys do this weekend? Drop and give me 20.